So we're actually going to be talking about Tyler Perry and Lonnie Love and how Lonnie Love is saying, hey, Tyler, your movies suck. Okay, there's a divorce in the black got a zero percent. And it would not have gotten said percent if you, Mr. TP, okay, would have invested in black writers and directors. That's why your movies ain't making any money. Okay, so that's what she's over here saying. Now, and I'm going to go ahead and just pull it up right here. As you all can see, it says comedian Lonnie Love recently shared her unfiltered thoughts about Mr. TP himself. And this is the former host of The Real slammed the media mogul for not hiring more black writers and directors, accusing him of being stitchy with his resources. Lonnie Love made the address on X, okay, uh, after Tyler Perry's latest project failed to perform up to critics' standards. The comic um, reposted the report about the Amazon Prime movie, okay. Uh, she said, I love that Tyler Perry is paying black actors. Now I wish he would hire black writers and directors that have experience to help him with his movies. She added, he can improve the movie and make them award worthy if he will stop trying to save money by doing the writing and directing himself. In case you're unfamiliar, okay, he writes the majority of his own projects, okay, and says um, on his own has faced uh, continued criticism in the latter half of his career back in 2020 the media franchise creator caught backlash after revealing he was writing many of the episodes of a cv project such as the sister by himself all right now what i actually want to do is come over to uh we're gonna come over here i just want to see the rotten tomato score score how you doing all right let's see we have this five days ago let me go to rotten tomato wow is it still in zero percent okay y'all okay that doesn't count this is zero percent rot y'all can't see my hand let me just move them up this is zero percent tomato meter which is for the critics and it's seventy is seventy two percent for the audience. Let's keep it real. It's just you and I. So when I go and watch a movie, I don't care about them dang critics. Not unless I'm watching them on YouTube and I'm actually watching them. Okay, because at the end of the day, these people be too harsh on these movies. Okay, it. I mean, you could have a type of. Well, why he gotta do this? Why why he gotta do that? You could have any movie. Let me go insert bad boys. Oh, why he think he funny here? Why he okay and it's one of those kind of things for me so for me i don't whatever for that okay um uh, but here 72 percent audience score that's a good score so i don't care what these 11 critics got to say we care more about the audience score because let's get real the audience we're not, it's what we like okay it's whatever we like you know so fine you know if you don't like it it is what it is Bike Riders got 81%. Nobody's talking about that movie. Nobody's talking about that movie. I don't give real. Um, Austin Butler, his fine self, he was also in, um, oh, what was that movie? He, Y'all know what it is. He was in that one movie where he was looking too good. Billy the Kid. And he played Elvis, if I'm not mistaken. Then you got my home, oh, my love, my love, my love, Tom Hardy and his fine self, okay? the drop okay and venom we are venom okay okay <laughs> so i love it you know and look it's at an 81 percent, which is really good let's not keep let's not lie okay let's keep it real that's really good but at the end of the day that movie didn't do that well either because people were yeah critics who were just like oh well this movie isn't really that popular so i'm not really gonna talk about it so you have people who didn't even watch the movie but it's a good movie and we've had many movies which are considered cult classics that back in the day didn't do that well but they actually are good but let's keep it real okay let's come back to me let's keep it real though tyler perry and i am i'm the reason why he doesn't change his stuff okay because I tell him, I don't want this to be changed. Now you may say, Alex, you haven't talked to Tyler Perry. We keep watching his stuff. 
if you watch his stuff, you continue to watch his stuff. Now, I don't watch TV shows. I used to watch House, House of Pain. That was it. But if you keep watching his stuff, his movies, his plays, and you don't, and you just keep watching it, that shows that you like the stuff. You can't go and be like, man, I don't like this. But you watch every episode completely through. You can't say, I don't like it, and you're watching everything. Okay? So, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm guilty of that. I watch the stuff. I will continue to watch it. He could put out something tomorrow and be like, okay, it's a new movie on Netflix. What's it about? None of your business. Just go and watch it. Okay. I'm watching his stuff. <laughs> so I'm that person. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie. It is what it is. I don't care. Okay. But that's the thing. You're over here saying, and I get it. You know, could it be too predictable? Whatever. Uh, Mia Culpa, I just felt like with that one. Well, uh, Carrie, uh, Ke Carrie Washington, what's her name? Um, Kelly Rowland. I just personally didn't feel like she did anything. I mean, you're supposed to be this DA or whatever, and I just didn't feel like she did anything. Now, that movie was crazy, but this is Tyler Perry. He makes crazy stuff. This is his thing, okay? So, this is nothing new. This is what he does. And with this one, there's some stuff in there I thought was crazy. I thought was unpredictable i didn't i didn't see it happening okay i thought like oh man like for example when you had home girl on uh, megan good's character and she signed them papers i was like oh she just signed that house away oh she didn't actually look at it so and it was none of that so i'm like oh okay but the kicker was how crazy her man dallas got he's like oh she didn't want to fight for the suit Wait, what? She don't want me? Uh-uh. Okay. And I thought that was good. I enjoyed it. Okay. I enjoyed it. And for all y'all people that was out there, man, he always be making these light-skinned dudes the good guy. He never won. Now, okay, uh, Corey Hard Hardrick, he's he's like medium skin, okay? And he was a bad dude, so I don't want to hear it. Okay. And then you had the dark-skinned dude who was the childhood friend who was the good guy. So he heard what y'all was saying. He's like, okay, fine. Now let me swap it, fine. Okay, I'll swap it up. And he swapped it up. He listened to your criticisms when they're reasonable. But no, I get it. You want him to have more black directors. He enjoys doing this. My thing is like this, as long as he is paying these people, which a lot of these black people are saying, yo, he's paid me more money than I've gotten paid for a single project in my career. Can you really sit up here and be like, man, you know, no, 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 no. You can't be cop copping attitude or anything like that because he's paying these people. Hollywood and what they do, they ain't paying these people. He's paying these people what they're worth. So I get where she's coming from. I understand it. But at the end of the day, I'm just like this, yo, what he has is working. That's why he's a billionaire right now. Okay. What he has is working. If he wants to make the same kind of movies and he knows that people are going to keep watching the same kind of movies and I can whip them out in three weeks or five days, God dang it, I'm going to do it. And yes, Fall From Grace, I enjoyed that movie. I watched that movie about three times so far. <laughs> okay. I enjoyed that movie. As Trey. As Trey B. Okay, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that movie. It was fun to me. It was crazy. I had the crazy wigs. Storyline was wild, but I enjoyed it. Okay, and guess what? He has a majority black audience and he's getting these people paid. So I'm gonna be real. I personally can't be sitting up here criticizing the man when he's doing what he should be doing. You know how I always talk about man got all these celebrities, got all these rich people. No one's over here helping out black community. He's helping out black community by employing majority black people and making sure that these black people are getting paid what they should be getting paid. That's why they're saying, well, I got paid the most I got paid out of, you know, my whole career or whatever the case may be. Can I really sit up here and complain? Meanwhile, you got these other athletes who maybe they have a charity here or there. They'll put one or two children through college every other year or every year, but they're not really doing anything that directly can help me change my life right now. You know what I mean? And this man is, so I, hey, okay. <laughs> it is what it is. So let me know what y'all think about said story down below. I wanna show you all my website, latricelimited.com. As you can see, I sell a variety of different items. And yes, that's me. Let's go and look at some of the items that I sell.
So right here is a tab for the bath bombs. I have a variety of different ones. And of course, there's going to be new scents to come. Here is the candle collection. As you can see, there are so many different scents here. Vanilla, sweet roses, and fresh breeze. Oh, really sage and vanilla. Sage and vanilla, sweet roses, and vanilla are my favorite scents. Now we're going to look at the soap collection. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different ones. Okay, it's, there's so many. These two right here are typically our masculine scents, but women can use them as well. They just smell absolutely amazing. Then as you can see, oatmeal, milk, and honey. Uh, these have little oats in them. Same with the peppermints. Has little bits of peppermint in there. It's just so amazing. You got unscented over here, white tea, mint, elixir. And the last thing we're going to look at are the gift sets. So you could get the big mamas over here, okay, with the silk and or you get the plush. Or you could get some of the other ones where you get a um, pain essential oil blend and you get two soaps. Definitely support me. Support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. And also, don't support me by, you know, purchasing something. I'm sure you'll love it.